take their money. More from CNN's Kate Baldwin. These millionaires are on Capitol Hill demanding the Super Committee do something most Americans would not ask for, tax them more. We challenge the millionaire politicians who oppose paying higher taxes to, cons to consider for a moment how much their country has done for them. We hope our fellow citizens will seriously consider rejecting any deal the committee makes that does not include an income, uh, an increase on taxes of, uh, in, on incomes over a million dollars. Charlie Fink, a former AOL executive, is one of the millionaires lobbying for higher taxes to help pay down the deficit. They took their pitch directly to lawmakers, meeting with Democratic and Republican members and their staffs. Why do you feel like you need, to, you need to step up to make that declaration to the Super Committee because, right now? Because what, this, what we've been doing in this country for the past 10 years is madness. You don't have to be a businessman or a millionaire to know the first thing to do when you're in a hole is to stop digging. Revenue has to be part of any agreement the, the Super Committee reaches. Fink was joined by about two dozen other millionaires, all part of a group called Patriotic Millionaires for Fiscal Strength. They want the super committee to let the Bush era tax cuts expire for wealthier Americans as a way of reaching the required minimum of $1.2 trillion in deficit savings over 10 years. One argument that many Republicans make is they do not want to raise taxes on job creators. It will hurt job right. creation. You, you don't agree? I think that's a lie. You I think, think that's a lie? It is a lie. I've worked for big Fortune 500s. I worked for a little startup today, and every consideration regarding an employee had to do with the demands for our product and services. It had nothing to do with taxes. While they're definitely grabbing attention, the millionaires who came up here are not likely to win over many Republicans who have long opposed such tax increases. The reality for the Super Committee, members continue to negotiate behind closed doors. Both sides insist they are still talking, but the group has not reached agreement, and we are now a week away from the Thanksgiving deadline. Kate Baldwin, CNN, Capitol Hill.